Shalom, everyone. We'll begin our service in four minutes. Shalom, my name is Rabbi Nancy Tunick, and I'm the rabbi at Temple B'nai Israel in Florence, Alabama, and I am coming to you this evening from Nashville, Tennessee, and we will be using a reform sador for our Maariv service. It is Rabbi Nancy on the right-hand side. If you click the sador, you can page through it along with me, and we will be using the chat function and the social stream for Mishaberach, for those who are in need of healing and for the Mourner's Kaddish, for those whom we are remembering. And we will be singing and praying together, beginning on page two. The greatness of the Eternal One surpasses our understanding, and yet at times we feel his nearness. Overwhelmed by awe and wonder, as we behold the signs of his presence, still we feel within us a kinship with the divine. And so we turn to you, O God, looking at the world about us, and inward to the world within us, there to find you, and from your presence gain life and strength. And together we say, Baruch Ed Adonai Hamvorach, praise the Lord to whom our praise is due. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Va'ed, praise be the Lord to whom our praise is due now and forever. And on page three, we sing the Baruch Hu. Praise be the Lord. 
We continue on page four and we say these key words in our faith, the words that we pray in the morning and in the evening, words that we pray as we enter a home or even before we go to the next world. We say, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Le'olam Va'ed, Blessed is God's glorious kingdom forever and ever. On page five, we sing. Jeremiah. We continue together on page seven in the Ahapta. As we speak these words in our homes, connected tonight. Continue now on page nine. And we read responsively, infinite God, creator and redeemer of all being, you are most high, most near. In all generations, we have cried out to you. We have put our trust in you. We have borne witness to your truth before the nations. Oh, now let your light and your truth appear to us and lead us. Let them bring us to your holy mountain. And together we say, we shall not fear then, though earth itself should shake, though the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters thunder and rage, though the winds lift its waves to the very vault of heaven. We shall not fear, for you are with us. We shall rejoice in your deliverance. Then shall we know you, our Redeemer and our God, and in the shadow of your wings we shall sing with joy. And we sing the Micha Mocha, which you can find on page 11 in English transliteration. Mm -hmm. 
and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Eternal God, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up to find our hearts waiting to do your will. And together we say, blessed is the eternal one, guardian of Israel, whose love gives light to all the world. We turn to page 14 for the tefillah. Turn back to page 13 for the Avot. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu v'elohei avoteinu, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov. Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanora, El elyon gomel hasadim tovim v'konei ha'kol v'zocher haste Avot. Umei vigu ula l'vnei v'nei hem l'ma'an shmo v'hava. Melech hozer u'mashiach u'magein, Baruch atah Adonai, magein Avraham. And shalom, and so glad that you could join us. We are on page 16 now, and we are using the Rabbi Nancy Sador, and we are singing together, Atakadosh, You Are Holy, as we pray to see the beauty that is just beyond our eyes. We pray to connect with God, who is just beyond our thoughts and our physical presence. And if we a moment to look for miracles if we have time for the silence to hear that still small voice then it's so much easier to connect to holiness help us see your beauty it's just beyond Help us realize that you 
Hallelujah, Selah. We say hallelujah and hear. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzvaot Melechol Ha'aret Kavodo. Together on page 17, we proclaim holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The fullness of the whole earth is his glory. May respond to your glory with blessing. Baruch Kavod Adonai Mim Komo. Blessed is the glory of God in heaven and on earth. And we now take a moment for a silent prayer, and this is our opportunity to quiet our minds and to connect, an opportunity to be grateful for those moments that we have throughout the day, the moments where we see just beyond our eyes, the moments where we recognize our connection. This is an opportunity to thank God for those moments, or perhaps an opportunity to still the thoughts in our mind in order to have one of those moments, a meditation or a silent prayer. join our voices together in prayer for those who are in need of healing. And we are on page 20. We will be singing Debbie Friedman's version of the Misha Berach. And then we will pause in the middle to read the names aloud. If you'll use the chat function or the social stream, there is a decided technological delay. And so if you type those names in now, uh, they will be available to be read at that break. And you can use both the chat function and the social stream, because so I will check both. And we join our voices together because when we sing and pray together, our sages say the prayer travels that much faster to God's ears. Bye. 
this evening we sing a Mishaberach for Russell, Amber, Marlene, Bob, Sue. Also for Irene, for Howard and Jane, for Joshua, Lillian, for Mara, for Evie, Jane, Tasha, Emily, Lizette Burker, Leandra Posadas, Cleusa Oliveira, There are any other names for Misha Berach, please type them in now. For Don and Matt, Zoe. And if you typed a name and it was not read aloud, please speak it out loud where you are. And we will continue our prayer for healing and for strength at the bottom of page 20. Misha. on page 22. Mm, oh, it's not on 22, it's on 23. My own ha hu, my own ha hu, Ushmo 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 Echad. And 
it has been said, the Lord shall reign over all the earth. On that day, the Lord shall be one and his name shall be one. And we continue on page 24. And we recall the loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have taken into our hearts with our own. And we, at this time, type names into the chat function and into the social stream, those whom we've lost recently. And traditionally, we speak the name for 11 months. Also, those who died at this time in years past, and if you are commemorating their yort site, and also if you are remembering anyone whose name comes to mind this evening so that you can bring that person not only to you in your heart, but into your life. We speak their names aloud for that reason. Because when we speak their name, they continue on with us. And so we remember this evening, Rosalie Tenenbaum, Ed Snymer, Alan Mammon, Richard, we will speak the Mourner's Kaddish after reading these names aloud. And the Mourner's Kaddish is a prayer really about the living. It's a prayer about the promise of life and peace for all in heaven and here on earth. It's not a prayer about death, but rather a prayer about life. And we continue reading the names as we remember Rodrigo Kepps, If you typed a name and it was not read aloud, please speak it out loud where you are. The memories of all of them are with us. Our griefs and sympathies are mingled as we praise God and we pray for the coming of his kingdom. And we continue on page 25. Together we say, Yekada vie kadash me raba vi alma di vrahi rute vi amlich machu te bechaye hon vi ome hon vachaye de chabe Israel. Bagalavis man kariv ve emru amen. Yehe shame raba me varachli olamo lame almaya. Yeparach vish to bach via paar vayet roman viet nasse. Vayet hadar viet ale viet halal shame de kud shabir hu. Me alam in kobir hata vishirata. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved, as together we say, Amen. And we conclude the service with a line from our sages that says, we must pray as if it's all up to God. We must act as if it is all up to us. This week's Parsha is actually Noah. It is the story of Noah and the flood and an ultimate example of not just praying or listening to God, but picking up a hammer and taking some action in order to save the world. And so as we continue through our week, we remember the idea that we are here to take action. We are here to tikkun olam, to repair the world. Uh, we'll be back with you tomorrow. Rabbi Galit will be with you and then Rabbi Steve on Friday evening to welcome Shabbat. There is wonderful, inspiring, motivating, uplifting, and funny content on Seem Shalom's Facebook page. And we'd love for you to join us there on a regular basis to like it and to continue our communication there. And I look forward to being with you again next week. And Erev Tov, everyone. Lila Tov at this point, and I will see you next week. Shalom.